Hello, welcome back to the channel and video number 121. This one's going to cover the new EM6 ECU, which was just introduced in June 2023. And uh, I'm just going to have a series of these covering a few of the features at a time, just showing you how they work and what they do, what they look like. And uh, yeah, hopefully you find these interesting. Let me know in the comments if uh, there's something we're not covering clearly or something you'd like to know more about and uh, we'll cover those in a future video hopefully. This is a dual EM6 ECU, Design 1 Programmer and the new card logger. We're currently updating the data logging software to display more parameters and uh, multiple pages so you'll be able to see more with it. New to the EM6 data logger is a time and date stamp so you'll be able to uh, sync that with other data from your EFIS perhaps. And I'm just showing you how you move through the time and date stamp using the buttons on the programmer. The card logger state windows to show you what the status of the card logger is. In these windows, you can select a card logger rate. There are six different ones stopped 0.065. 0 0.262, 0 0.49, 0 0.98, and 1.96 seconds. This window shows that the logger is logging. This window is showing that the card is not receiving any data. The logger is mounted just below the programmer here. When the amber LED is on, it's not logging. The screen indicates it's logging now. You notice the green log light is on, also confirming that. If we pull a card, you'll see the status change on both the LED and the screen. Reinsert the card and you'll see the status changes back to logging within a couple seconds. These are the new closed loop settings where the ECU is running off the oxygen sensor. You box in the closed loop settings for RPM, a high and a low limit, and manifold pressure, also a high and a low limit. Here we've enabled closed loop, and it's going to use the RPM AFR targets that you program in. Here we're showing the programming for 2600 RPM, the 202 is the open loop fuel amount, and the AFR target for closed loop is 10.8. Here we are at 2500 RPM, we're adjusting the fuel amount for open loop. Notice the cursor arrow is pointing at that. Now we're going to adjust the target AFR. you notice the cursor arrow is pointing at that. And with the EM6, we can also set a target AFR for lean of peak operation. And I'm just adjusting that target right now using the plus button. Another new feature is the uh, lean of peak trim. So this is a separate table for trim when the lean of peak button is selected. A lot of people had asked for this because they found that uh, rich of peak and lean of peak trim was uh, fairly different in some applications. This window allows you to set the maximum manifold pressure where a lean of peak is deactivated. Here I'm setting the lean of peak ignition advance. Lean of peak fueling is disabled here. 
here we're using a percentage for lean of peak. Here we're using AFR target for lean of peak. Here's the percentage that the ECU will lean when the lean of peak button is pressed. Here we're covering a new octane select switch. This is a minimum RPM. And here's the amount we're going to retard when the switch is activated. That's it for now for this short introduction of new features on the EM6. We'll be doing more in the future. And thanks very much for watching.